The countdown is re oh oh here we go. All right. Hello everyone, I'm Masahiro Sakurai, director of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate from Sora Limited. Oof. We'll be using today's showcase to give you a first look at our next DLC fighter. No pre-announcement, huh? Actually, hardly anyone knows what we'll be announcing today, even among Nintendo staff worldwide. What? Damn, okay. The development team okay. and other stakeholders have been working on this fighter with the utmost secrecy. Which means secrecy. other Nintendo staff around the globe will only start making preparations for release after the showcase has been broadcast. So it won't be available right away. Please understand that it will take Damn. a little time. Yeah, it won't be out today, probably, huh? <laughs> many Nintendo employees will be surprised to see this and say, "Wow, really? <laughs> really, huh?" So it's gonna, so, it's gonna be something so obscured. Our hands on the latest information. <laughs> This is going to be one of those side characters. That's not the character I was picturing. I hope you don't have any hard feelings. <laughs> oh, man. Prepared a fighter reveal video. Once it starts, I think you'll figure out who it is. It's like, oh, it's not Goku. It's Vegeta. Now, let's do this. <laughs> oh. All right, here we go. Anime, huh? Oh, wait, fire, wait, fire Emblem? What the hell? Oh my god, another Fire Emblem character? <laughs> oh no, Fire Emblem. Come to the <laughs> no. Spell of Three houses. Upon our enemies. <laughs> By left. Oh no, don't tell me it's... Don't tell me it's her. I know, right? Fire Emblem. Were you thinking charging right into oh, an no. enemy's trap? <laughs> As you so are this. one, I too am trapped within this void. In time, another sword character. Will cease to be. I mean, maybe, maybe we can use fists and are stuff. You prepared to die. I Join Smash. I also do not wish to die, and yet <sighs> there is no other choice. Join Smash. You must join Smash. I knew it. <laughs> uh huh? What? Join oh. Smash Brothers already. What in the world are you waiting for? Damn it, it is Bailiff. Oh my god. Fire Emblem character. Oh my god. <laughs> so joining Smash consumes even the darkness itself. I can't believe it. Three houses. Alright. So another sword character, guys. Oh my god. When, you, when I was gonna think it's not gonna be another... I mean, technically this game is not in Smash, but it is in Smash. Can I use gauntlets at least? Yeah, I'm like, wow, really? Seriously. So you return, and yeah, I mean... I see. Too many swordsmen are there? Knew it! And you, you wield the sword as well? <laughs> what will you do? We're gonna change weapons. Change weapons, please. Huh. So that is how you plan to win the day? So be it. I reward your cleverness this time. They, they even played on it, dude. <laughs> what? Yeah, we change weapons. Lance. Axe. Bow. I mean. How is this? I'm playing male. Alright, we can change. Oh, he had three swords. <laughs> wait, wait, what? <laughs> the hell? Wait, so the female one's different? Wait. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah! We get you three weapons. You bet there's no gauntlets. Yeah, see, we get a we get an axe. Oh yeah, here we go. That's what we're talking about. Something different. Calling. Final smash. Alright, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with this, I guess. 
They didn't expect it, like, throw another Fire Emblem character, but... Three houses. <laughs> They're directional. Oh, okay. Oh, there is a magnetized board. There you have it. Oh no, that's uneven. Three houses is joining the battle. That 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 one uneven. It's <laughs> gonna throw a lot of people off. That poster is uneven. Soon be able to play as them in Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. This release is planned for January 28th. You'll have 28, so it's not today, huh? Super Smash Brothers Ultimate Fighters Pass. Okay. Okay. Oh, we're not playing Smash today. Okay, cool. We're playing Ark Knights. In case you're not familiar with Fire Emblem or Three Houses, I'll explain a few things, so don't worry. First off, what is Fire Emblem? Whack. <laughs> it's really hard to pronounce in Japanese. The producer said it's okay if I just say Fire Emblem. Fire Emblem. But when writing it, if you don't write Fire Emblem, the Fire Emblem police will come and get you, so please be careful. <laughs> Fire Emblem. <laughs> The series Emblem. first entry launched in Emblem. Japan on the Famicom in I mean, there's Marv. There's... Uche was a pioneer in the genre of tactical... Alright, is, is it time to learn new main? What makes it particularly tactical? So well, I get more priority than using, you know, fist characters? You can think of it as moving pieces in a board game. Or in other words, a game in which you advance units across a grid and battle. I mean, a lot of people are going to try, try to character out, right? So... When we talk about tactical games of that era, there were lots of ones in which you command tanks, aircrafts, and so on. But Fire Emblem was unique because each unit was a specific character, yeah. sort of like in role-playing games. Plus, Ooh, I'm getting goosebumps. I don't know if it's from the cold or from the from the hype. Ish. Permanently die. <laughs> Seriously, right? It's 35 minutes. He's, I mean, he didn't go over the character, but. But really, if a character fell in battle, you'd lose that unit. They'd be gone, and you couldn't use them again. Permanently... Was this permanently this dot dot dot? Maintains <laughs> the concept of permadeath to some degree in classic mode and what have you. But a lot of games now allow... He's gonna throw new modes, so to speak. Probably gonna throw new modes, I don't know. Or he's gonna release the the next Fighter's Pass. Never to be mentioned again. Well snap, what if he does that? The game's stories are told like chronicles of war, with increasingly distinct characters and engrossing scenarios. Several characters also appear in the Super Smash Brothers series, and six of the seven can use a I like how they play oh, another sword character. There's actually a reason for this. When I was considering how to counter incorporate Fire Emblem Fighters into Super Smash Brothers Melee, gonna have I thought counter? it might be interesting to reflect the turn-based nature of the original game. First comes your opponent's turn. They attack and you can't. So, so Bylaw's gonna have a reflect, right? Counter. And now, Fire Emblem Three Houses is the 17th game in the series. People who aren't Japanese in particular might be thinking, 17 games? There are that many? Well, if you include Fire Emblem Heroes in the remakes, but you don't include the Satellaview game, Tokyo Mirage Sessions, Sharp FE, and Fire Emblem Warriors, then Set it's Wait, there's been 17 games? Let's try saying them in the oh, Fire man. Emblem Can You Say a Challenge. I'll give it a try. Dude, I don't even... <laughs> I wouldn't even know. I didn't even play all of them. Yeah, I played Secret Zone and Blazing, and that was pretty much it. And then straight up to three houses. Oh, heck, uh, Heroes. I play, I play Heroes. Never mind. You gotta play them gacha games. So, you saw how I was counting in a weird way, right? I was counting in binary. Yeah. This is zero. Fold this here, and you get one, and then you get two. One Dude, the filler. He's teaching a binary four, filler. Five, six, seven, and eight. And then you get sixteen. Add one and you get seventeen. Awesome, isn't it? You can actually get this match better, yeah. Thirty-one on one hand. <laughs> I know, right? Real flex. And if you use both hands, you can count all the way up to one thousand twenty-three. <laughs> If you've given up counting the knots in a tatami mat, you could always. Alright, when you're bored. Damn, they even made it. <laughs> what is Fire Emblem Three Houses? 
<laughs> oh my god. I mean, yeah, it's like 0, 1, and then 3 is 2 ones, you know? Violet becomes a professor who ends up leading one of three academic houses. Yeah. Once you've chosen a house, you guide them through their. Dude, I need to, I need to finish this game. <laughs> you end up fighting the other houses. I'm like I'm at the second half of part two. After a certain incident, oh, man. five years pass, and you meet up with your grown-up students. To Too many other things happening. In their regions, it's a very sad game in which your former allies become enemies, turn hostile, and try to kill you. I know, if he's bad. To understand the concept of Fire Emblem Three Houses, I played an early version of the game before its release. Oh, okay, okay. I've done the same thing before, with The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, for example. Because I couldn't wait until launch to experience it, or we'd have never made it in time. For that title, I borrowed an early version of the game for two days, ran around all the areas, saw the ending, and realized for the first time. He saw all the endings. I guess we can't really yeah. have Breath of the Wild's Princess Zelda as a fighter. Oh, he wanted to do uh, Princess thing, Zelda. But with there being three houses and multiple endings, it was really hard to get a feel for it. And of course, there weren't any walkthroughs I could reference. Damn. And now he's gonna make me try to finish this game. The game has multiple <laughs> routes, and the outcome of each is very different. Your experience will vary depending on the route you choose, and many of the characters you meet will adopt different roles in the story. The first reach player. I'll try to avoid spoilers when I'm talking about the fighter. I hope you'll understand. Mm -hmm. Before my demonstration, I should point out that when I yeah, did the Terry Bogard right? showcase video, I mentioned that it was recorded a month in advance. But this time, we have to account for the holidays and such, so we're filming two months in advance of this video's release. Oh damn, two months. Actually, November. Therefore, some of what I'm about to show you might differ a bit from the finished version. From, As from always, I'm using a special in-game camera and such for demonstration purposes. The 28th. <laughs> Here I go. You can play it by himself again, right? All right, here we go. So, so, this is our new fighter, Violet. Sadly, here we go. In mobility. It's maybe a bit better than Robin's, but that's about all you can say for them. Throws are not their strong. This is the plaza. I know this. I know this place. The stage. You say that they're distance demon. The hero's relic they use changes depending on the direction you input with the stick. Each of the hero's relics yes. is a weapon that appears in Fire Emblem Three Houses. Alright. They look like bones, and there's a reason for that. I mean, they're relics. First, let's talk about the weapon Byleth uses for upward inputs. Yeah, it's only a week. The sword of the creator here is Byleth's default weapon. They use it for flurry attacks and tilt attacks, such as down tilt attacks, where it takes the form of a whip. How about aerials? They also use the sword for dash attacks and other moves. Okay. For their up smash attack, they'll whip the sword upward to launch enemies in the air. The For their up air attack. Yeah, I want to play Arc Knight later. That's too nice. That's too nice stream. The hit detection for this attack lasts for a relatively long time. So up, up his sword. The for the whip. Special move is really something. The up special. Like this. Oh wait, that's Joker. Wait, oh, it's like Joker, but you bring you up. How I knocked him into the air with that attack. And in addition... <laughs> you can do it again? You can keep spamming it, dude. What the hell? That said, you'll launch opponents upward until their damage reaches a certain percentage. Dude, I didn't even check the tier list yet. I'll probably check it before I stream. Well, we can go over it. I don't know. You want to teach me? You do a couple, I've huh? I've shown this, but you can also use it to latch onto edges. So that's the up special. Now for the sideways inputs. This is aired for Get the same up these. as the weapon from Celtic mythology. Okay. First, we'll go through the forward and back air attacks. As you can see, back air is long reach. Like yeah, so. the forward and back air s the spears. Mark yeah, reach. Keeps opponents in check too, right? I like I like the reach. Oh, he's gonna show us if the reach. The same thing, you'd win out, so you yeah, that's what I want. <laughs> Next, the side smash attack. 
This also has a long bane. Everyone dropped hero? I mean, I went back to Sonic. Also, if you add an upward tilt, it will be stronger. Wait, oh, okay. Wait, so you got a forest smash upward tilt all the time? The side attack won't hit unless you add a downward tilt to aim for them. By the way, the tip of the lance is more powerful. Ah, okay, so it's like Mark. The shaft part is weaker. So it's not suited to close combat. Oh, really? Nice. It won't deal much damage, and it won't launch opponents far. That's why, as a rule, you want to hit with the blade part aimed upward. Pressing up and attacking from a distance. Next, yeah, I'm doing that 50%. No, 30%. Do up smash. Down smash. Four smash. Will simply swing the lance like this, but again, it has excellent reach. For oh, example, it's even longer? Your opponent is at this distance, it'll wow. Still hit. That's side B. Does it allow him to go forward in the air? Actually, you can do a smash attack to charge forward a little. Like this. Charge forward during smash attack? But as you'd expect, it can be easily shielded, so be careful. A delay. Oh, okay. In mid air, it just returns to make a circle. Attacks from earlier. They have great horizontal reach, but they lack verticality. So this complements it well. Although you'll be vulnerable when you land. Wait, vulnerable when you land? Now for the downward inputs. Oh, the la landing leg. For these, Byleth will use an axe called Emir. It's named after a weapon that appears in Yuga Rhythm. Axe! Axe main! <laughs> First, the down air attack. It really is strong. Does this spike? You can try for a meteor oh. with this attack. I mean, meteor. Okay, cool. Next is the down smash attack. There's a lot of delay, though. Back and forth. As you can see, it has a great deal of launch power. And for the nice. down special. Violet channels all their energy into a devastating strike. What do you mean all its energy? It's a bold move, similar to the Falcon Punch, but here's what makes it different. Falcon Punch? <laughs> when readying the move, there's yeah. a super armor effect. Oh, super armor, so it's like Ganondorf. Which allows you to Only at the start. Attack. Only at the start, though. That's what Just it says. So you know, if you execute a Falcon Punch at about the same time, it plays out like this. Oh, ho. it's a bit slower than the Falcon Punch, but do it's not a counter. Effect, you have the advantage, unless you get grabs. Another notable aspect is that it lets you pass through platforms. Wait, wait, what? Charging up, you can breeze past platforms like this. Oh, okay. Area. But you can't move. It won't let you jump, but you could use it as a surprise attack. Yeah, but you got range though. Yeah, it's laggy, but you have range. Turn around during the move. Okay. The swing takes a while. So if an opponent runs behind you during the move, you can quickly change direction. But in the Falcon Punch, where you have to determine ahead of time. Land a hit with this move, it can be really effective when used against oh, a it hits behind him too. Oh. Plus, even if you fail to land a direct hit, any opponents on the ground nearby will still be launched a little. Oh really? Interesting. It's as if the quaking of the ground launches them. By the way, earlier I talked a little bit about the other Fire Emblem characters' moves. I know, the range. I don't this is a very ranged character. Against fighters from the Fire Emblem series. And then if you do neutral, B is the bow or what? It hits with that much power in a single attack. Counters okay. can actually multiply the power of blocked attacks. And using easily anticipated attacks... Damn, he died 30%. You hit by counter after counter. <laughs> Next, we have the neutral moves. The bow you use is called Failnot, which shares its name with the bow from the Knights of the Round Table. It only mm -hmm. appears in a few neutral moves. You've got so the just neutral air attack. Neutral this air attack is similar to a move of pitch. Oh, you can't. Okay, so you can't. Let you spin the weapon around. Oh, that's neutral it's air. It's also easy to create certain combos with it. And the B neutral shoots the bow. And with the neutral special, you'll let loose an arrow. It seems pretty straightforward, right? Straight forward, ah, I see. Noteworthy aspects to this bow. Does it hit when it comes out too? The biggest difference between this bow and Link's is that once you enter the command, you can keep charging until it's ready. 
You can't release it partway through the charge, so when it does oh. fire, the arrow travels at high speed. It's oh, you have to, you have to charge, you have to shoot the whole thing. That said, you can still cancel out of the stance using the shield button. You can also change direction while in the stance. It works up until this point, but if you keep holding hmm. the button, you'll unleash Super Smash. Powerful arrow that looks hey, it became uh, Zelda's finest smash. <laughs> you can perform this move by keeping Light the arrow. button held down. You charge up power like so. Charge a bit more and then fire. But it's again, a knight. You'll need to take care when using this move. For one, when you've powered up the move to its max, there's no way to cancel out of it. Can't Not cancel. With the shield button. In other words, Rip. you're committed to firing it. Commit. So you see, a situation like this is pretty terrible. You shoot the other way. Once you've entered this right? stand, you won't be able to do anything. Can you just shoot the other way? Oh, you can't. You can't even do anything. Wow. Okay. Spiders who have a move with the reflector effect, but you could always just aim into the fray, as it is, after all, yeah. a long-range move, letting you deal a sudden blow to opponents. So you need to think carefully when using this projectile weapon. By this final smash is called Progenitor God Ruptured Heaven. In the original Damn, that's a freaking long name. This is an enhanced version. And he's Captain Falcon, don't forget that. I mean, no, he's Ganondorf. He's also Ganondorf. Oh, Arida! As you can see, you team up with the mysterious Sophus and launch an attack together. I didn't, I didn't get to see it. Oh. <laughs> Now, let's talk about the color variations. Color it's variations. So that the default and odd numbered color variations are made. Look at those patterns the on the way. numbered ones are female. However, the third, fourth, and fifth oh. are, as you can see, reminiscent of the house. A. Hey. Those of you who played the original game will, of course, understand what I'm referring hey. to. Hey. Damn. The sixth color this is a green one, though. Sophus, you just saw oh, Sotis. Okay. And the seventh and eighth variations have a different hair color, which is based on based on something that occurs in the course of the original game's story. Oh yeah, yeah, I know, I know what what happens. The hair chain, he went super ultra. <laughs> yeah, it just isn't ult. But the ult you can play, but it's only one ult. Damn, it's only one person can play as the house leaders. For this one, we of course tried to recreate the place where you spend most of the game. Garrick plaza. Monastery. We picked the plaza. This is how Garrick Mock Monastery is laid out in the original game. From these, we chose to have it cycle through the marketplace. Oh, it cycles. Okay. In cathedral, all in one stage. Woman's hair. It's the type of stage that. I, I swear it should be a little wider, but maybe it's just because of the, the Let thing. Let me introduce each of the guests that appear in these four areas. Maybe it's lighting. The first area is the marketplace. I think this is where a lot of people come to do their shopping. Yep. And look. The appear here are the guests of the Blue Lion's house. Blue Lion. Dimitri, Dedu, and Ingrid. The characters I use. Not Dimitri, Dudu, or Ingrid. Their names are a bit difficult to say. They're largely from the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. Since it's a kingdom that... We even, he even talked life. about the names, huh? Reason, Don't say it this way. Dimitri's the future king. He had quite the difficult life and may or may not end up with just one eye. He's an unfortunate one, that one. No. There are vendors on either side. In the original Holy game, Kingdom. these are important booths where you buy all sorts of things. But, you can get... Uh, here you can break them, you see. If you do break them... Hey, he's that ga the gatekeeper guy. To the left and right. He's here. The gatekeeper is there. I wonder where people will buy their supplies now. They <laughs> respond. Right? In the background, hey! hey. The gatekeeper. Everyone you likes them. Pass through this area and fire on them three houses, and you end up talking to them a lot. Ultimate Moving through these areas is possible thanks to this mysterious platform. Just when it seems like you've come to a stop, dude, if, if it'll it'll make you feel like you'll come crashing back down. We broken through the ceiling and slammed into the building. It'll make it. It'll make it feel like you're like gonna fall. The guests in the reception hall are Edelgard, Dorothea, and Petra of the Black Eagles. Take note, it's not. Yeah, look at her pose. They're from the Adrestian Empire. Or Dia's pose, man. Yep. Waifus. 
Edelgard is one of the characters who is central to the conflict. Depending on the path you take, she'll go through some terrible ordeals. I like the ordeals. Uh, You'll notice there are prominent shows. chandeliers above the stage. It's possible to knock them down. There's always going to be some kind of breakable, right? However, mm, the bridge can't actually reach it, even though it's. And then the Kijiro probably um. You can reach it with other fighters. All the teachers, kind of. So it's nice if you can work your way up there by getting lucky and being launched up, or perhaps by using oh. another fighter as a stepping stone. There we go. I made it. And you can knock it down. Down we go. Can break this table. Oh. Like so. <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, by the way, you can break this table. Just like the sign that reads Fooding Kazan in the Suzaku Castle stage. What about that table? Break if you launch the opponent into okay. it at close range. Next boom, up, boom, the yeah. Bridge. The camera rotates 90 degrees, creating the 90 small degrees. Area. It's very wide indeed. There's, there's Hilda. It's similar <laughs> to the bridge of Elden stage. The guests are from the Golden Deer, Claude, Hilda, and Lawrence. There's the Hilda! The Lester Alliance. Yeah. They're posed though. Because it's an alliance of many noble families, you could say that they have a wide assortment of members. And Claude is the sharpest of the bunch. Incidentally, both Claude and Hilda are the oh, names of characters who's on the Pegasus Knight. The genealogy of the Holy War, oh, just a random guy. In the Fire Emblem series. It's the gatekeeper. I guess once you've reached the 17th game and are creating 40 characters for each new entry, you're bound to get a bit of name overlap. The naming process must be tough. Hey, it looks like the Pegasus Knight is busy training. Yep. As for the bridge's design, it's just a long path. Can you break the poles? I'm assuming. You can expect plenty of blows to be exchanged at the edges of the screen. You could also say it's a place where the No, never mind. I don't I think it's too far to break the poles. I think it suits the golden deer perfectly. Just keep sniping everyone. All right, cathedral. The last area is the cathedral. Yep. Only with some platforms you can pass through. The guests appearing in the cathedral are Seda, Flane, and Rhea. There's Seda, who appears to have an extremely strong bond with his sister, Flane. She seems to be under the protection all have of green Rhea, hair. who you can see fighting during the opening of Fire Emblem Three Houses. Never know. All three well, you never mentioned it. You mentioned the breaking the table. I feel that Flane might be saying shush at this point, so I'll leave it at that. This is a simple area of the stage. All it has are these platforms. Being the last area, it may be a place where some intense these these walk out these walk out stages. Oh my god! It'll cycle through each location in about two and a half minutes. All right. Now we get to see his combos. Okay. Today we'll have a tag team battle in Squad Strike with the DLC team pitted against Fire Emblem protagonists from throughout the ages. Damn. Okay. That'll precisely five players per side. All right, here we go, Joker. Joker! And hero! Oh, yeah. And kill everyone. Gee, we really made a lot, huh? Banjo! By now, I think you know what I'm doing. But basically, I'm trying to defeat all five opponents with just the professor here. Easy. But as what expected, levels? it's what going items? to be a pretty tough battle, so I'm using anything I can get my hands on. Alright. It's not going to land that easily. Uh oh, this oh, is bad. Benegas. I better keep my distance. I don't know, man. Hey, it did. It hit the oh, box and it hit attack. him. Got him. Oh, OP. Oh shit, That's so many bombs. He's invincible for a moment here. Lots of explosives. Ouch. He perfect shielded that, huh? Of course he picked the female one, right? GA camping. They counter this. Like this, like this, or like so. No anti-air, huh? There, the soccer ball connected. Pretty powerful. <laughs> good. Damn. There's mom. How do you see him action when you're using items, man? You're in a good spot, mom. 
Uh, Gardevoir. I shouldn't have taken that. Gardevoir. Well, I guess no one uses projectiles. At this point, it doesn't matter if Gardevoir is there or not. Smash Ball. You hear the I music. Like the enemy might get this Smash Ball. See? They got it. But I mustn't give up. Oh, broke the shield. I can't waste the chance. Got yeah, down B on that time, right? For the Falcon Punch? Smash Ball. Yes, got it. Now. What are you charging up for? Didn't There's kill. Still more. Whack. Oh, you can up, up B through the stage. Go on, you can take the hammer, but it's mine. Although, I'm scared I might get hit with a counter in this state. I hit him! Items make things so much easier. Using abilities alone, but what matters is we have like four minutes left. He's gonna review the next like fighter for the fighters pass, huh? So I think it's a good idea to try imposing different types of challenges on yourself. The end. The end. No, never mind. Go over the songs. We got. Now about the additional music. Like four minutes left, though. The Fire Emblem series. We'll be adding each of the new tracks to all the Fire Emblem. Never noticed. Was like six. There are already a lot of Fire Emblem tracks in the game. Our selection this time has been made, taking those existing tracks into consideration. Eleven in total. Eleven songs are being added. Did they remix, huh? This includes an arrangement of the main theme in both Japanese and English. I hope you'll enjoy these as well. We're also adding in a new spirit board. Spirit board. It includes the what house collectors among some of the other popular characters. I mean, those are those are in the game models. So this is legend class. I mean, there's costume also, though. There's a new classic mode route. You costume for all the other characters, which is designed to let you enjoy classic Fire Emblem stages from throughout the series history. Of course. The final battle is against Master Hand and Crazy Hand. But you'll find that something pretty amusing happens, so look forward to that. Early. Now for the Mii Fighter costumes. Please oh, Mii Fighters, off. here we go. Round five. <laughs> hey, look, Assassin's Creed. What the? F The hell? <laughs> Rabbits? Wait, what? Okay. All these crossovers that couldn't make it. Damn, all these random crossovers. Mega Man X! Oh! You can play as Mega Man X now. But not as a character, but you know, the costume. Battle Network! Oh shoot! NT Warrior! A. A. I think. Actually, Mega Man NT Warrior might be my favorite game when I think about it. Is that Tales of Sophonia? Hey, Cuphead! Oh. Oh. Costume. Costume. Includes the music track. <laughs> Is it costume? Dude, the costume though. Damn. This costume is actually pretty nice. Rip Mega Man NT Warrior. <laughs> More hype. There's the end of the direct. Let me five cents each. This time, we're releasing a Cuphead costume. And for those of you who purchased the Cuphead costume, an additional song will be added. It's called Floral Fury, and it's the theme that plays when fighting Cagney Carnation. Floral Fury. I never play Cuphead. Enjoy these as well. After purchasing a costume, I recommend using the sharing feature. 
character. If someone has created a Mii Fighter, you can play using the costume it's wearing immediately after you download it. Okay. You rock it. And now, on to the amiibo. Dark Samus. The color palette for Dark Ooh. Samus looks pretty good, doesn't it? Dark yeah, that's, Samus and Richter that, that, that's what got my attention Friday, first. January 17th. 17th, that's tomorrow. Alright, here we go. And now, with the addition of Violet, the fighter's pass is finally complete. Finally the complete. was Joker, Hero, Banjo and Kazooie, Terry Bogard, and Violet. From more than 70 fighters, only 5 have been added. Wow, really? <laughs> but I must say, this game has always been an exceptional experience. And since the roster was already so large to begin with, right from the start, we intended to make the most out of the new gameplay mechanics. New fighting so, mechanics. There really were a lot of new mechanics, weren't there? When we add a new fighter, we don't simply make their attacks or their movements a little different. Yeah, you get new Instead, mechanics. Instead, we try to offer you a whole new style of play. Oh no, rip. <laughs> As I stated, we'll continue to release more DLC fighters down the line. I had thought that one oh, here we go. or two might suffice, but, well, have a look. Uh, I knew it! I knew it! Which one? You gonna tell her? Or just gonna be blanks? Eleven? Wait. Six? The hell? Looks like there will be one more fighter than last time. Damn. For this okay. Reason, we will be releasing the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Fighters Pass Volume Two. It will be available for pre-purchase on the day. Chart. End of this year. Please keep an eye out. And now no, wait, all time, of them will be we released. To move ahead with development. Of course, like last time, the contents will remain unknown for now. And I'm personally very sorry that all we right. have to release Fighters Pass Volume Two when the details have yet to be revealed. Damn. Like last wait, time, wait till I December. Very grateful if, for all of them. That, you would understand why and purchase it. Furthermore, the new additions have already been decided. Oh, okay. Even if I receive many requests regarding potential candidates on Twitter, I'm afraid it would be very hard to consider them. Rip. <laughs> but I still hope you'll look forward to it. Fighters, Fighter Pass 2? I mean 3? <laughs> We're also including a bonus with Fighters Pass Volume 2. Last oh, really? Time, it was a Rex costume. But this time, here's what we have. Oh, Breath of the Wild. It's a Mii Fighter costume for Mii Sword Fighter. The ancient soldier gear from the Legend of Zelda oh, Breath of okay. the Wild. Doesn't tease it. I know, I wish. Individually, so it can only be acquired as part of Fighter's Pass Volume 2. Lastly... New well, mode. It's been reported that Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is the highest selling fighting game in the world. Personally, I don't know if it counts as simply a fighting game, but I guess it's seen as a fighting game around the world. He doesn't consider a fighting game. Seems like Street Fighter 2 was in the lead for a while, but now Super Smash Bros. Ultimate has surpassed it in total sales. However, I'm not sure if this is accurate. There were five versions of Street Fighter 2, or six to seven if we really want to get into the weeds. Oh, okay. Plus, there's okay. the arcade versions and the 25 ports to other systems, so I don't know if He's that flexing now? He's just flexing? Also, I don't know if that really qualifies as one game. It's up for discussion. So, who knows? But when it comes to a single piece of software, it seems like Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is number one. Although, I still don't know if it can really be called just a fighting game. The, he made it as a party like game, right? More than a fighting game. Some sort of celebration of gaming or something else entirely. Also, I feel a deep okay. attachment to the five DLC fighters. <laughs> the first fighter's pass just wrapped up. But it was decided that there would be more DLC. Which means, no breaks for me. Mm -hmm. I plan to keep working hard, so I hope you can continue to support us. That's it. Thank you. Alright. That's it, right? For reals?
right. That's it for reels. Oh man. Oh wait, no, I'll leave that there. Oh now okay, you changed the you changed the background. Oh man. It was interesting, yeah. This makes it more likely that we'll get a Gen 8 Pokemon. It could be. Uh we get we get Kapu and Urshifu. Or Air Skirt, okay. And Boo. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. You get Urshifu, yeah. It's possible now. I was like, it's gonna be dirt party. Game. Well, yeah, and then it's not like one of the Nintendo games. Another Fire Emblem character. Ah, uh, anyways, uh, should I go back to sleep for like thirty minutes? <laughs> yeah, binary counting, dude. So much, so much weird trolling flex and stuff. <laughs> Damn. Thank you for tuning in. I'm tired. Um, probably go back to sleep. Or I, I'm probably gonna edit this video. And then post it up on YouTube and stuff. Yeah. So with that. Yeah, we're just talking a lot of random stuff. Thanks everyone for tuning in. And with that, later days. Hours. We'll see you guys later tonight. Nice stream. I know, I need to finish the game. <laughs> I need to finish the game.